Welcome to Soul Infused a Monday today. So I'm gonna give this a moment for people to jump in. So I am going to ask you to be patient for a moment. If you are watching the replay already, then um, here's what I suggest you to do. If you're on the replay right now, because I'm waiting for people to come in, please be patient, have like one or two more minutes and invite someone to watch this with you. This information is going to be important. There's a, there are a lot of people right now in really uncertainty and fear and a lot of stress and anxiety in their bodies. So this is important information today and it will help to release, to relax and to have a new perspective or at least help to release some of the stress in your body. So if you are already live, welcome to the Soul Infused Monday show and please invite someone to join you. Invite someone, share it with uh, on your Facebook page, share it with a friend. A lot, a lot of people are really anxious and stressed out right now and need any help they can get. So the Soul Infused Monday show is as consistent as every week to help you to really connect in, to help you shift so that you can go through this experience right now in the best and most calm way possible okay so i'm going to give it a few more moments and if you are already live here and you're actually waiting with me and you are inviting people with me leave me a comment below and say hello so that i know you're here and also let me know how you are doing right now let me know how you're feeling i want to hear from you and uh, the topic for today is how to actually relax and stay relaxed and, and, and trust when your whole body just wants to freak out, right? So before I dive into this topic for today, I want to hear from you, how are you doing? Who is here live right now and how are you doing? And again, if you're just jumping in, I am waiting a few moments to really people can join life and get the most out of it. So please invite someone. So many people right now really need any uplifting and any energy shift they can get. So, who is here? Lynn is here. Emily is here. Hello. Valerie is here. Yes to another meditation. Ooh, you read it already. I don't even be there. Yes, yes, yes. Hi, Mette. Mette Louise. Hi, good to see you. Hi, Tine. Hi, Norma. Hi, Mareike. Good morning, Tina. Hi, Melissa. Hey, missed you last week, Melissa. Have great having you here. Eva is here. Eva, welcome. Amanda from the UK. Hello. Who else is here? And if you're on the replay, leave a comment below. Lynn, good morning. Feeling about seven out of ten. That's fairly good. So, how are you feeling right now? What is happening in your life right now? Share with me. This topic is obviously for everyone and at the same time the more I know how you're doing right now the more I can tune in and really send you the right vibes in order for you to shift and I'm gonna give it like about maybe another 30 seconds before I really jump in and in those 30 seconds I invite you to remove any distractions as much as you can you know if you have your kids so you know whatever that's totally fine but remove uh, many distractions, you know, close other windows on your computer and invite a friend, invite a family member, invite someone you know who is actually alone, maybe at home, or stressed out or afraid or scared, or maybe share it in a group that you know. This is important information and this time right now, we gotta really stay as uplifted as possible, okay? So, who else is here live? Or on the replay. Hi Sue Ann. Hi Ellen. Glad to be here with you. Yeah, I'm super glad to be here with you too. And again, please take a moment. I'm not saying that just, you know, for the sake of saying it. Share with me how you're feeling. How are you feeling right now? Maybe one word. One word to describe your emotional state, your mental state, your physical state. How are you feeling? Are you feeling anxious? Are you feeling relaxed? Are you feeling tense? Are you feeling joyful? Like, it could be kind of like more on a heavier side or on the lighter side. Leave a comment below how you're doing. Hey, Julie, great to see you. I'm feeling less overall anxiety, but still now sleeping as well as I like. But still now not sleeping as well as I like, I guess. Yeah, yeah. At night, often the stuff comes up that we are consciously not aware of throughout the day. 
Hi, Tamira. I'm okay. We are on spring break and home with my daughter on vacation. I woke up a bit tired. Yeah, that sounds like a regular day. <laughs> Esteban. Hello uh, from Costa Rica. Hi, Costa Rica. Yeah, I, all, all over the world, people are jumping in. Okay. Not motivated this morning. So, and that's okay. So, yeah, just be with that for a moment. Sean is feeling meh. Hi, Sean. I hear you. Mornings, I get a little sad. Try it out. Then I feel better, Tamira. Yeah. Okay, great. Okay, fantastic. Again, keep inviting your friends and family. And please, if you hear and see me clearly, click the love button. And therefore, you're sending me a little bit of love that I appreciate as well. And I will get this going. Sandra is feeling depressed and scared. Mm, Sandra, I so hear you. I'm happy that you're here. Like, I'm glad that you're joining us because often when we're scared and depressed, we also feel lonely. Depression is often loneliness or other unresolved issues. So I want to say to start the show with, no matter how you feel right now, no matter how you feel right now, just be loving and kind with yourself. Accept it for a moment. Thanks for the love, by the way. I see the hearts coming on my screen. I love it. Keep them, keep them up. Send me as much love as you want. And um, so be in acceptance for a moment with it, okay? And I want to jump right into this topic because I don't know about you, but um, I hear from a lot of people, or I hear this a lot lately or in general, like that from a mental perspective or logically, you understand that, hey, being anxious and totally stressed out, that doesn't help me really. And even if you tell yourself, in your head, hey, it's better to relax. Your whole body is still freaking out, okay? Who can relate to that? Thanks for the love, I'm getting it, I'm getting it, I love it. Who can relate to that? So first, do you know that feeling of, hey, in your head, you're kind of like, hey, I know it's gonna be okay, and this and that, but your whole body is just anxious and tension, and often you don't even notice consciously, and only when you, you, you put your awareness as, you feel like maybe you feel it through, tension in your chest, a, 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 a stiff neck, or a, a very shallow breath, or your hips are completely tense, or your jaw is completely tense. There are many different ways to perceive this, and, and I'm, I'm fairly sure you can relate to this. I want to check in here real quick who's in here and how you're feeling. Amanda is tired and hungry. It's nearly dinner time. Well, grab a snack real quick and come back. Beth, you made it. I feel a weird sense of calm waiting for it to drop. Oh, just enjoy the calm for a moment. Just enjoy the calm. So happy that you made it. Sandra, thank you, Sonia. Oh, you're so welcome, Sandra. Um, Debbie's here. Hi. Yes, yes. And if you're just jumping in, let me know how you're feeling. I can relate feeling that now. Yes, Eva. I so understand. I'm here with you. So true. Okay, so how to stay actually relax and trust when your whole body wants to freak out. And what I just said before about the acceptance, the first thing you want to do, the first thing you want to do is when you do feel stressed out or your, your body's freaking out or you are scared, what happens often, even unconsciously, you don't do that intentionally, is that you judge yourself for feeling a certain way or you get anxious about it or you want to get rid of it and or you put yourself under more pressure, okay? So the first thing you want to do is you want to really take a breath and accept yourself. Accept yourself right here, right now, no matter what your feeling is. It doesn't matter if it's depressed, scared, calm, hungry, tired, whatever you are experiencing right here, right now. Take a deep breath and accept yourself. Love yourself. Be kind to yourself. Why? Because the anxiety that is around right now, and we, we have a lot of different mixed emotions right now, and we are very multifaceted beings. So to put judgment and pressure on it makes it even worse, and your body will tense up even more. Judgment, negative thoughts, or you know, like self-judgment, and pressure and negativity towards yourself creates even more tension in your body 
and it blocks your energy flow okay so you might totally know this already and yes it's a good reminder so take a breath and be okay for a moment to feel whatever you feel and I can feel some of you really already taking a deep breath and relaxing within and if you're just jumping in a little bit late welcome to the soul infused Monday show now more than ever it's so important to let your mind your body and your spirit be influenced by things that are gonna uplift you that are gonna help you relax and that are gonna help you trust versus just diving more into fear and anxiety and to create to, to that increases fear okay so what can you do in in order to stay relaxed and to trust when your body wants to freak out okay so first of all and you know this breath is your best friend breath is your superpower breath is the secret weapon okay why is that a body in fear is a body in tension muscles close up and get tense however a relaxed muscle <sighs> can't be really afraid and when you are afraid your muscle goes like this when you release your muscle you release some of the fear as well the fear might still be there but we're talking about an intensified state of being right now it's okay to experience fear but it's right now the level of fear and anxiety that you're experiencing right now is way over the top right so you want to take the edge off so anywhere where you notice right now in your body because your body wants to freak out when it goes into fight and flight right so here are a few very common places in your body that get tense when when it wants to freak out okay and I'm just gonna point out a few and you check in what resonates with you more okay and um, and just guide your breath there for a moment so one area very very common area is your face actually your jaw check that out right now and if you do feel tension in your jaw just make a few funny faces ah open uh, move your jaw Oh, that alone already creates a little bit of a shift and then the muscles on your face like you can massage underneath your eyes there's this bone here it's also a meridian line also a tapping point for anyone who knows tapping and then your forehead and your skull a lot of tension in that area Whew, yeah and just keep massaging it feel and keep releasing it like making like really a few funny faces helps oh my god I feel like some of you really relaxing already because there's so much tension and even if you release this little bit right now that's good enough that's perfect the back of your neck who has tension in the back of your neck you can you can massage yourself a little bit you can very gently stretch your neck a little bit <gasps> another area is your chest oh boy there's a lot of tension and pressure in your chest why also I want to point a few things out today for your understanding this is not only because of the virus because of the anxiety that we are having in this current moment what this situation is bringing up is it brings up your unresolved issues your woundings from the past fears and, and things that are usually not as intense that don't come up to the surface because of what's going on right now and being more sensitive because being more anxious it brings it up to the surface so everything that's that's that is up for healing is coming up now so everything seems so much more intense does it make sense if this all makes sense and it's landing click the love button right now especially because I love to get those love thingies Oh, I'm checking in here. I had a dream the other night. It was Lady Gaga's just dance on the words, which is breathe. I love it, Emily. Okay. Oh, Sandra is saying, oh my gosh, Sonia, this is all working. Oh, Sandra, I'm so happy you're here. This is, this is totally working. I'll, I'll, yes, and I see all the love and all the hugs and all. Yeah, thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, keep breathing, keep breathing. 
Okay, another area here, chest, unresolved stuff is coming up. So there's a lot of pain and sadness in your heart that is, is triggered right now in addition to what's happening. So you gotta, it's just, it's good to understand sometimes that we think sometimes, oh my God, I'm freaking out, what's wrong with me? It's like, it's just because everybody's experiences, we are a sensitive being. And at the same time, it brings up your stuff. And that's actually a good thing if you use it to be. Like if you use this moment in time to do the deeper inner work and to really go in and get the help to resolve those issues from the past, they are now closer to the surface than ever. So if you have been procrastinating about doing the inner work, if you have been avoiding it for whatever reason, now is the time because it's so close up. Like you, you can dig into that and do the healing that will ultimately also help you to relax and trust, right? Okay, take another breath. Another area that I wanna mention is the lower back and the hip area. And from an energetical perspective, if you, are, uh, if you know about the chakras, the energy centers in your body, the base chakra, it's the first chakra in the body with, you know, like the bottom of your body. Oh, it's just when I, it's just when I mentioned it, some of you took a breath and relaxed that a little bit. The base chakra is associated with instincts, trust, fear. It's a very, like, more a little bit of the more the raw chakras. And that's the, that's the chakra, the energy center, where squeeze up first. And then when, you're, when your base chakra is kind of pulled up and closed, it's very difficult to trust and let go. So just relax that area if you notice that is something that is tense for you, okay? Okay, and again, if this is valuable for you, if you're noticing a shift, please invite your friend or your, like someone you know that needs to hear this information today. So many people right now really struggle alone at home, and this is a community of love and support, and I'm here to really be a little bit of the beam of light um eva is saying yes my fears from my childhood are coming up most strong it is an intense feeling but my mind and husband keep telling me all will be well but my body doesn't feel it yeah that's such a great point eva thank you for sharing so here's what i'm going to say about this the mind is only one part of our existence you can tell yourself as many times as you want, everything is going to be well. If the wound is in your body and in your energy from the past, it's not going to heal through thinking. I want to make that very clear for anyone who has been really struggling and feel like stuck and now is intensified. Just understanding and knowing that everything is gonna be fine or telling yourself, hey, everything is gonna be fine. Yeah, everything is gonna be fine. I truly believe that. At the same time, that wound is not gonna disappear just by thinking that or saying that, otherwise it would have been gone for a long time. So what I'm saying is, yeah, use this opportunity, like use, use supportive thoughts and words and at the same time that alone will not heal the wound that's coming up from the childhood does that make sense this is really important because it's easy otherwise to think oh what's wrong with me or oh you know i'm too crazy or I'm judging yourself no it's a totally normal process um and another thing and you know this i keep talking about this over and over and over and over and over again now, more than ever, whether you have been doing it or not, you get to meditate. And when I talk about meditation, have an energy-based practice where you bring your energy in and you connect up. Why is connecting up so important? Stay here with me, super important information that you wanna know because you might meditate, but maybe something is actually missing for you, okay? When it comes to trusting, if you want to relax and trust in the midst of craziness and when your body wants to freak out, you got to go beyond that part that wants to freak out. Okay, I'm going to repeat this. So your, body's, your body has their own, you know, freak out moments. And in order to really trust, not only relax, that to really trust that this is going to work out fine you will be fine 
And this has actually happened for your own good versus just seeing doom and gloom. You got to go beyond. You got to go beyond the freak out area, the freak out energy, the low energy. How does, um, what do I mean by that? Beyond meaning that you want to raise your vibration. You want to go up to a place where the vibration is higher and beyond the freak out beyond the trigger point, beyond the energy of the wounding and fear and scarcity and all of that that's coming up, beyond the intensity of the experience of that human body right now that is freaking out. Because you are so much more, you are so much more than just a physical body, you are so much more than just the fear that's coming up, so much more than your anxiety, that the virus, that like that, you are so much more than that you have an incredible level of consciousness and energy you are being of light and energy and whether this is your belief system or not just stick here with me because it will help you regardless of your belief system when you raise your vibration and you connect to a higher place that's where you can find true trust because when you stay in the emotion, in the freak out, in the wound, all you see is through those lenses. And when you connect up to your higher self, to your soul, to the consciousness, to the universe, to God, to spirit, whatever works for you, that's when you can make a shift and to trust even in the worst, worst scenarios in your life. It's just coming down all on you. So, just going to check the comments here real quick. Take a deep breath. And I keep forgetting to say it. Emily, you mentioned it. I did create a meditation the other day for when you are really in fear and anxiety for this time right now so that you can stay calm during Corona. It's a guided meditation. And you can have it completely for free. It's not even public yet. I haven't even published it yet. But if you send me your email address or you leave your email address here in the comment section, I will get that to you. Okay? Just give us a little time if, you know, we're working on a lot of things right now. But this meditation will help you to stay calm and centered in the midst of fear and uncertainty. And I want to speak into you if you are currently very anxious and also if you are alone. This moment in time creates a lot of isolation and loneliness in a lot of people. And I understand that. And I just want you to know that you are not alone. Even though you have maybe no one physically next to you. And I do feel your pain. I can really resonate with it right now. And whether that is you or not, there is someone in you right now who is in pain, who needs to hear that they're not alone, and that there is light in the tunnel, and that there's something good in this, and you want to help them to shift. And I want you to help, and I want help to help you shift. Okay, so take a nice deep breath. And let me recap a few things that are really important. You don't heal through thinking only. Yes, your mind is a powerful tool. Your thoughts will create an energy. And how you talk to yourself right now is more important than ever. If you don't love yourself right now, if you don't speak lovingly and kind to yourself work on that if you're scared and full of intention tension or stop the self-judgment stop the pressure take a breath release the tension in your body and go beyond and one of the best tools i know is an energy-based meditation that will help you to bring your energy in to bring your energy up and then to bring that higher frequency down 
and I do have a new recorded meditation. If you want it, I'm happy to just share it with you. So send us just our send us your email so we can send that to you when we're ready. Okay. So take a nice deep breath, and I wanna I wanna check in with you real quick. How are you feeling right now? How how did this releasing of the tension in your body? Just even imagining going to a place. How are you feeling right now? And what is landing? What are you hear me? What are you hearing me say? That is landing for you. What is making a difference? Please share it in the comment section. Carrie's sharing. I don't feel like I'm freaking out, but I feel like I'm detoxing. Feel a little unwell and metallic taste in my mouth. I'm not sure why. Yeah. This is so great, Carrie. Thank you for sharing. So, the body freaks out sometimes without our conscious awareness. That's why tuning deeper in and doing the deeper work is so important. Because here's I'm going to share one piece of it: the inner child. Whether you believe that you have an inner child in you or not doesn't matter right now. It is like this part in you that is scared. It is like a child, a child consciousness from the past. You as the adult, you might do all your regular things and you are not even noticing that your inner child is freaking out and anxious, but your body will show you in a way. So um, that can be part of it. So even if you are not freaking out right now, just tune into your body and into your inner child and see uh, if she or he needs something in particular. I do a lot of inner child work with my clients because ultimately that's where we really heal the childhood wounds and it helps us to stay relaxed and trust and to really become more whole again as who we are. And the other piece that is, is possible, Carrie, is, yeah, that there is through everything going on, like a detoxifying, but I do feel like it's, it's just a result of everything that's going on. And even though you're mentally not so aware of it, it's affecting you more than you might actually uh, think. So thank you for sharing. Hi, Emily. Yes, I was here all the time. <laughs> okay, Debbie is taking away today that pain and sadness is in your heart and this is triggered by your current fear and trauma. Yes, this is a great explanation, Sonia. Thank you. Yeah, very welcome, Debbie. How to relax a tense chest. Where the tension is doesn't really matter. And I know ever your chest is way more than just a current little thing. So um, you most likely won't just release and, and, com and, and, you know, like that tension completely. And at the same time, first thing, bring your breath in there, be in acceptance with it. You know, don't, don't try so hard to get rid of it. Um, be with it, hold space for it. And then also what you know, Eva, as a reminder, you remember when we did the energetical expand heart without going into the emotions, going into the wound, you can energetically expand the space to help release a little bit and open the back of your chakra. Yeah. However, there's more to it, but this alone will help. And also going up. Um, if you haven't meditated today yet, or if you have, just meditate again and go up. Amanda saying, I feel an inch taller. Thank you. You know, I was growing taller while I was talking to you before when I was getting that energy from above. Like, I often feel like I'm growing. Like, I have this state of being a lot because I'm so highly connected and strongly connected. And here, one thing I want to say for anyone who's like, oh my God, this is not working. I've been doing this for over 20 years. Like, don't, don't worry about, you know, oh my God, this is not working for you right away. It takes time to build that muscle. But you felt, most of you felt that even doing this alone helped. So yeah, you want to do this every day. You want to keep practicing every day. You want to start the routine if you haven't. And don't be attached to this having to just feel like this overnight. But so many have already a result, even though we didn't even do it that long. Julie saying, thanks for clarifying and reminding us. I feel the same way. It is time for us to spend time on ourselves. Yes. If you haven't done that, now is the time to work on yourself. Connecting up, hmm, interesting. Yeah, Debbie, we've done this so many times. You just gotta go back there. Brilliant, <laughs> thank you. Brilliant, love you, love you too. Would love for the meditation, thanks. Yes, I'll get a meditation to you. 
Eva, I would like the meditation. We will get the meditation to you. Yes, please would love that. Yes, yes. Tina, yes. If you want to have a new meditation that will help you to stay more calm and centered and to also honor and accept where you feel and, and reach up to bring a little bit more lightness into your place right now, into your home place, leave your email either in the comment section or send me a private message. Boy, I'm talking a lot today. Whew. I've been talking so much the last two weeks, I think I'm gonna lose my voice soon. <laughs> Spirit is talking through me. So leave your email if you want that meditation. We are super happy to send that to you. Yes, please, yes, absolutely. Tamira, I would love it. Yes, 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 yes. Do you have any questions before we bring this to an end? Am I saying I feel less tense in my chest? Landing for me, pay attention to my thoughts. Be loving with your thoughts. Yes, very well. You know why this is also really shifting? Like, first of all, you are in my energy field. So when I, whatever I share, I create an energy vortex in some way, one energy flow, and you are resonating with my frequency. That's why it's so crucial to stay connected. And I urge you to come back every Monday. And I'm doing so much more right now than only Mondays. Um, I go live so often this week. I, I share a lot of, like, you want to stay connected. You want to stay in a higher vibration and I want you to know that I understand by the way I do really understand I am really calm and I have not been freaking out at all so far however today this morning I just want to share that with you so we are we are we have a call for you here for a while I've been isolated for a couple of weeks already um, but we have you know we can go out and do groceries and I haven't done this lately I didn't really need anything and I this just before the show, I found out that apparently from tomorrow on, they're going to do a 24-hour curfew here, meaning you cannot go anywhere and everything is going to shut down. If that's true or not, I don't even know. Um, <clears throat> but that means also no groceries, like nothing. I don't even know how that's going to work. But when the first moment I heard it, like I was like, okay, my mind didn't freak out. I was okay. And I know that even if I don't get groceries for a week, I'm not going to die and I'm not going to starve to death, okay? My body, my body reacted to it. And my inner child, I noticed my inner child is like, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, right? So I'm sharing this with you because that doesn't like, it doesn't mean that doesn't happen to me. It did happen to me this morning or before we jump on here. And because of everything I shared, because of all the inner work, because of the awareness, the self-love, and the ability to shift my energy, and because I meditate every day, yes, it's there, and yet it doesn't overwhelm me. And even more important, not only that it doesn't overwhelm me and take over, it doesn't have to stay stuck somewhere because I can address it. Okay? Because you don't want to pretend the stuff is not there. That's the worst you can do, by the way. If you don't deal with in the body, it will come come back in another uh, you know like this is your time right now okay do you have any questions and um, please stay connected and check out my page I will go live again this week I don't know exactly when and what time just stay connected check my emails because now more than ever you do want to stay uplifted and feed your mind and soul and body with things that uplift you okay Breathe, meditate, go up. 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 Yes, Carrie. I think my inner child is scared, but I'm not noticing so much. Yes, not only you, Carrie. I tell it to so many of you. Your inner child is freaking out. If you have not done inner child work, it's maybe a little bit more challenging. However, Check in with your inner child. I need my support, please. I do this day in, day out. I have been doing this for 20 years. So don't stay stuck. If you need my help, please send me a message. So you're saying, I know this, Sonia, and I do feel the benefit when I do it, but it is keeping the consistency of practice because I'm busy with a lot of stuff right now. Yes. So I want to talk into this for a moment, and I know I'm way longer here, but I think it's important, and you are here, so I want to support you who are here live with me right now. Don't use, and that might trigger some in you, okay? And that's okay. Just watch it, observe it, a judgment or something. Don't use time 
or busyness as an excuse to not take care of yourself. You always have five or ten minutes. If you don't have five or ten minutes to take care of yourself, you don't have a life. Seriously. Even if you just take five minutes to breathe, the beginning, listen to a few minutes of a meditation, the mind is going to keep spinning. The more you spin, the more busy you are. The busier you are, the less time you will take for yourself. Right now, it's even more important to take the time. The busier you are, the more you think you don't have time for this, the more you got to do it. If you think you don't have 10 minutes to meditate, you should meditate 30. Like, I'm serious about it. When you take the time and you get centered and relaxed, it will, it will allow you to do everything you got to do in a way more calm and focused way and you will get done more. So I just want to really pour that in. You've frozen my video. I hope I'm frozen. Good video again. <laughs> Working on breathwork upwards, self-love affirmations. Great, great Amira. Melissa's takeaway, speak lovingly to myself, most important thing, let it to be there without judgment, yes. Habit change by anchoring with something you already do, like morning coffee, yeah, absolutely, great. Yes, Sue, and I will, give you, I will send you the, uh, the meditation, and if you join in later or you forget to put your email or send me a message, I have a guided meditation that will help you, that we just... I just literally created a few days ago. We'll get that to you as soon as possible. You're welcome. An emotional and physical empath. I'm extremely grateful for all the progress I have made in setting boundaries. It's helping me now immensely. And working with you has been magical. You've been growing so, so much. Me too, Emily. Sonia was extremely helpful with boundaries. Yes, I'm the queen of boundaries. Super crucial right now. Oh my gosh, everybody, all of my clients have to go through this because without boundaries, you are a victim, seriously. How did you address it? How did you address what, Carrie? Um, it's energetic with boundaries. Oh yeah, you're talking maybe, yeah. Uh, okay, Any, I don't see that any other questions are here. Okay, thank you so much for being here. Before you jump away, stick 10 seconds. Share this video with someone you care, that needs to feel loved, supported, more grounded, and to stay, stay calm and relaxed. And to really encourage you for the rest of the day today, keep breathing, keep going up, keep going up, keep raising your vibration, keep raising your vibration. Breathe, meditate, go up. If you need my help, please reach out to me. I'm here for you, and I will see you very soon. Much love.